Hello, people of the internet. You've tuned into Radio Poltergeist. I am the resident here. Welcome to the residency. Alexander is my name, and I'll be your host. Over the next hour or so, I'll be presenting you some songs that I found worthy of this kind of expose. Let's dive right in. You. Yes, you. Listen. A tenement, a dirty street, walked and worn by shoeless feet. Inside its long and so complete, watched by a shivering sun. Old eyes in a small child's face, watching as the shadows race through walls and cracks that leave no trace, and daylight's brightness shun. Spence. 
Yeah, so this was Frank Watkinson singing Days of Pearly Spencer by David McWilliams. If I'm not completely wrong, should I should check this. Hang on. Well, as you can see, uh, or here, uh, rather, um, um, professionally prepared. Of course, I was right. Uh, David McWilliams, uh, The Days of Purdy Spencer, as interpreted by one Frank Watkinson, Esquire, who is a, a lovely, like really like a love at first sight old guy with his guitar sitting in his, I don't know, looks like a living room. He's got this YouTube channel that I um, discovered only recently, and uh, it's just him and his guitar and the, uh, I don't know, hundreds of songs on his um, on his channel. I highly recommend you to check out. He's got everything. Like I wasn't sure which to pick. Uh, I like this version because uh, yeah, it has like a little upbeat to it. Um, but I don't know. He's he's got everything from Bowie to uh, Slipknot. <laughs> like uh, yeah, he's great. Just check him out. Um, you won't regret it. Thank me later. And now to the next number. Kick off. like these I feel the animal deep 
inside Heal the heart on the bended knees Living on If I try Somebody set me please A dream was a ticket to see Giving up an end Hey What do you say? Do you have a word for giving away? Got a song for me song, huh? This was the band Lamb Chop with um, a song called This Corrosion. And some of you may have uh, realized that this is actually a song by the Sisters of Mercy, one of the coolest bands ever formed, ever performed on this planet, in my opinion. And uh, also a band uh, that I always thought was virtually uncoverable and um, yeah so I, uh, I was quite um, quite baffled when when Spotify the Spotify algorithm hit me with that one so yeah I thought I'd share that and um, that sparked the idea to this uh, to this podcast to this episode. I wanted to show you a small collection of um, covers that were worth sharing, in my opinion. Usually, I'm I'm rather skeptical about cover songs. Not like I'm not a purist or something, but um, yeah. I mean, most of the time they just play the song, you know, as well. But, um, you know, they just copy it or something. But sometimes even that works. I mean, that's rare, but sometimes it really works, the, the copying, because, I don't know, the, because of the certain, you know, just the, tex the texture of the sound and um, everything fits. But most of the time uh, they don't. And, but sometimes, then again, um, you hear like re really weird word versions, you know, 
they really reimagined the song. And um, I thought the Lamb Chop number was uh, one of those kind, uh, one of that kind. And also the next number, which will hit you in a second. rendition of The Man Who Sold the World by Amanda Jo Williams and the song was of course written by David Bowie originally and um, yeah not much to say about this I mean this is one of this I don't know for me uh, a good David Bowie cover is, uh, is a super rare find mm, after his death um, the tribute albums would like rain from the skies and uh, I would uh, crawl through all of them like uh, through well, not all of them but like uh, any any I could uh, get my hands on so um, yeah and this was one of the most remarkable covers anyway all right um see you with the next song
And now this was of course Mr. David Bowie himself singing Wild as the Wind. Um, is a which is a song that uh, was actually um, originally written for a damn it I should have prepared for this I should have no I should have taken notes uh, it was uh, <clears throat> composed written for this for this movie in the uh, 50s I believe or 60s um, original interpret uh, interpreted by I don't know um, it was like it was played by many uh, artists but most um, significantly by Nina Simone and Bowie who um, revered her uh, played this song as a uh, recorded this song as a, as a tribute to her I don't know it's one of the I don't uh, I mean Bowie is kind of the king of smooth and uh, to me obviously one of the greatest artists he was like really like a superman he did the he bridged the gap between our species and the, the next level love you Davy. all right next song
This was Beck um, with MGMT playing The Stranger Song by Leonard Cohen. And uh, Beck and MGMT actually did, did a whole album of uh, Cohen's songs, um, which is complete, yeah, just check it out. It's on YouTube, I believe, in, uh, uh, with video. You can see him, uh, see him play and everything. And uh, they, they take a wild shot at every song. And um, Beck did two of those uh, types of albums. The second one, or first one, I don't know which one was released earlier. Um, he uh, played the whole Velvet Underground and Nico record, of which I'll play you.
some great, great stuff. I love that. I love the whole record and the Cohen one too. So yeah, just check them out. I uh, I urge you. And um, apropos uh, Cohen, check it out.
found this layer a really fucking unique way um, to approach this song like with the whole beat and um, a weird way of singing completely made them made the song their own and uh, I think that's what I love about like a really good cover version um, is when the artist doesn't try to compete with the original but um, find something finds a new place for the for the song to dwell mm. yeah. all right so now we've got a hit like a real fucking hit and now uh, actually I want to do I wanted to play this song, this um, the following were, uh, song, covered by another band, by uh, Swans actually. But in last minute, a friend of mine, Daniel Rohatz, uh, from Austria, shout out. He uh, he pushed me this square pusher version of uh, "Love Will Tear Us Apart" by Joy Division. This is once a bomb.
will tear us apart again. How do you like it so far? Am I talking too much? Should I talk more? I'm not sure. Maybe I should have like, taken notes, given you some info, something you could use, or, you know, make you learn stuff. Or not. Okay, next one. I don't know um, uh, how to pronounce the name of the artist. I'll try. Um, Because it's a Chinese name. I don't even know if if it's one artist or two, or if it's a man or a woman. It's very mysterious to me. But I uh, I don't even want to know. Sometimes I don't want to know. It's it's a mystery, and I like it. It's Xiu Xiu, like X I U, double, like all right, Q Q or something, Xiu Xiu. But I believe. That the Han Chinese in Mandarin one uh, says uh, Xiu Xiu. And um, well, uh, look at this. Who have we here? Michael Girard, frontman of the Swans. He made it on the list after all. I don't know. I 
just thought if I had should have like um, prepared you for this or something, but um, yeah, I guess there's nothing to prepare uh, one for this one. Um, brutal. <laughs> All right. Fasten your seat belts. Next one will have no mercy. I began to warm and chill To objects and their fields A ragged cup of twisted moth The face of Jesus in my soup Those sinister dinner deals The meal trolley's wicked wheels A hooked bone rising from my food All things either good or ungood And the mercy seat is waiting And I think my head is burning Interpret signs in catalogue A blackened tooth, a scarlet frog The walls are bad, black bottom kind They are the sick breath at my hand They are the sick breath at my hand They are the sick breath at my hand They are the sick breath gathering at my hand I hear stories from the chain with with born into a Brother's fist. That filthy five, they did nothing to challenge or resist. In heaven, his throne is made of gold. The ark of his testament is stored. A throne from which in total history does unfold. A head is made from a wooden wire, and my body is on fire. And God is never far away. Into the mercy seat I come, my head is shed, my head is wide. a wedding band that's good Tis a long suffering shackle Collaring all that rebel blood. And the mercy seat is a burden And I think my head is going And the way I'm open to be done With all this way of truth And I for an eye and a two for a two And I've got nothing left to lose And I'm not afraid to die And the mercy seat is going And I think my head is melting Mercy Seat by Nick Cave, 
as covered by Luke Zico, like disco, but with the with the letters uh, switched. Zico, you'll find him on um, you'll find him on Bandcamp, and uh, yeah, I'll put the I put some links in the in the description. Uh, he's worth checking out, definitely. I like this one because it's so simple. And it really got this um, got the mercy seat on a like on a on a treadmill, right? Okay. Next one will actually probably need no introduction, but um, there's a little story to this. Uh, when I when I visited my mom a few years ago for for Christmas. And uh, after dinner, we had um, we had wine and drank um, and drank <laughs> and listened to music and uh, talked about music and what she liked back uh, back in her younger years. And uh, she showed me this um, this Elvis number, and she. Uh, yeah, she was totally smitten, and she loved the she loved the song, and uh, I was kind of trying to appreciate it, but I don't know. There are better Elvis numbers in my mind, and um, in my mind, on my mind, I guess it already. Anyway, when I when listening to that song, I I, I just <laughs> I just you know my. My foot was tipping all the all the time, like in a in a kind of faster beat, because I'm an '80s kid, and for me, there's only one version of "You Are Always on My Mind." That's by the Pet Shop Boys, of which I'll play the full extended version. You.
Fuck yeah. We're always on my mind. This is just grand. This is just grand stuff for me. It's one of those, like, the Pet Shop Boys sound is, for me, uh, so baked into my, to my subconscious. I don't know how old I was back then, like in 86 or 87, I was five, four or five or something, must have. I was, like, playing on the radio on heavy rotation, I guess. Feels like home. Okay, so... We're actually at the uh, at the end of the show. I hope you enjoyed this little journey. And um, yeah, let me let me know what you think. I'm gonna post this on a uh, few platforms on hearthis.at slash poltergeistfm on uh, YouTube on my radio poltergeist channel there. Um, maybe on maybe on soundcloud i don't know yet we'll see but um yeah let me know what you think in the in the comment section hit subscribe hit that bell button <laughs> link in bio and um well my name is alexander and you can call me al i've got one last number for you that's rausschmeißer we say in german it's another frank but uh, let him let him tell you which one. Bye bye. This is um, supposed to be the uh, Last of Us game, the Last of Us version of Take on Me. It was requested, but that that song has got so many high notes in it and I can't sing a high note to save my life so um, you've got to pretend that I've been in the game and I've been fighting zombies or whatever for about five hours and everybody's totally worn out and then some bright spark says give us a song so this is the totally, totally worn out version of Take On Me Talking away I don't know what I'm to say I'll say it anyway Today is another day to find you Shying away I'll be coming for your love, okay?
I'll be coming for you anyway Take on me Take me on I'll be gone in a day or two Take on me Take me on I'll be gone